Okay, brew pot going in the background, that can mean only one thing. The cows are out in the field. It's brew day, again. Um, yeah, this is the third week in a row. I hadn't actually intended to do one today, but um, this is the way with me. I woke up at like 7 o'clock. Woke up, wake up at 7 o'clock every morning. I have to go to the toilet, even weekends. Like The kids aren't even up and I'm up before them. I was kind of sitting there by myself. I was, I was actually I was flicking through a book. While I was having a cup of coffee, 7 o'clock in the morning, that one there, Bill Bruce. And of course then, as soon as I started doing that, I started thinking, oh maybe I could, I'll, could, I'll just get it, I'll just get a brew on. Yeah, sure enough. So, what we're doing. Sorry, the cows are roaring out in the field. There's farmers over in that field over there. He's roaring, shouting and roaring the cows and effing and jeffing, so that should be funny if he starts doing that. So yeah, so what am I doing? Came across this one here, Stone IPA. Everybody's tasted this one. I thought, yeah, I mean, I, I'm not, I like IPAs, but I, I'm not a massive fan of IPAs. I mean, I wouldn't drink them all the time. But I fancy doing one of these when I've seen it. And it all depends on what I've got in stock, hops wise. The grain bill's very simple. It's basically, um, it's just basically, I use Pilsner malt, um, five and a half kilo, something like that. It's very simple. Pilsner malt, there's a little bit of crystal and a little bit of um, car pills that went into it as well. Um, it's the hop schedules. So, as you can see, it's the brew is on and on. Um, we're, doing, we're doing a full batch. We're doing a full batch, um, so yeah, I've got my my magnum in there. Second drop is going to be on 30 minutes left. We've got Chinook. We've got an ounce of Chinook in here. 15 minutes left. We've got another ounce of Columbus this time. And then lastly, all the recipes um, are different for clones. You you know you Google anything and it's always different. But there's one thing for all the Stone APAs recipes that I've seen. There's one thing that um, is in them all, which is Centennial, and that is the one thing that I don't have. I don't have Centennial. So I've got another ounce of Galaxy this time. So I know it's not the same. Like it's not even similar, but what it is, what it is. Okay, so you can see then we're getting it up to the boil. Our first wort hops are in. That is the Magnum. Um, I don't really want to fill it any more than that. As far as I'm concerned, that is maxing out. Um, there's a good chance this is going to boil over. This is not really... I mean, if it was Frank, Frank's homebrew 77, that will be literally filled right up to the top. But uh, that's about as far as I'm going to go. So this is about as much as I can get into my... Um, boil pot, this is only a 30 liter boil pot too. I didn't go for the 40 liters because um, I don't really make massive batches of beer but when you're doing the high gravity beers that would come in handy but I do love that grain, that spent grain. That big bull there always gets the best the rest of them have the scrap of the slaps but I tell you what they really love it. Sandy having cows in the next field. They've got loads of grass and I can never, the brown bin always gets filled really quickly so just toss it ring over the fence with him and love it. That's a really bow. Huh? The, the last thing then is the yeast. So in this, it says here at the bottom in the, in the book, it says about um, the, the yeast that stone use. So it, it brews this India Pale Ale with a Belgian strain of yeast and calls it Cali Belgique. Um, mm. It's an undeni undeniably a Californian IPA because of the hops, mm. but it receives its Belgian character from the yeast. Mm. So I don't have I don't have any Cali Belgic special yeast. What I am going to do, I've never done this before. I'm going to use two different yeasts to, to uh, ferment this out with. Now there's uh, I remember Basin Soak Dave. Hello, Dave. Out there. He said one time that he uses um, different yeast, he blends yeasts basically and then ferments them out. I always thought that was kind of interesting. Never done it before, I've only ever used one yeast per beer, unless it's like a real 
fuck up and it's, you know, stall the 1020 and you have to throw an extra packet for something. Um, but I've never done it. So what I'm going to do this time, I don't know, I still don't know if this is a good idea or a bad idea, but I've got some American ale yeast, um, the 1272 American ale yeast 2, Y yeast, and I've also got some Y yeast, um, forbidden fruit, it's the forbidden fruit one, it's the Belgian kind of like the yeast. So I'm going to put, I'm going to blend those two together and see what happens. Might be a good idea, might not be a good idea, but um, we'll see. Okay, 30 minutes. That's the Chinook going in there. Okay, 15 minutes to go. There's our word flock in there as well. That's the Columbus going in. You see I've got the wart shutter on. I know I did think about this last week, but I'm sure I had something to do with that wart shutter. I was going to fix something, but I can't remember what the hell it was. If anyone remembers, just let me know. Yeah, that's been out. There's our Galaxy going in now. So, uh, yeah, the workshop worked very well. I'll tell you what I did find it. Let's see if I can find it. Where are you? Huh? They're in there somewhere. Two wasps have fished out of the bloody wart. Two of them. Not just one, two. Dirty bastards. Okay, then that's a brew day over. We have got our sample here. Uh, it's incredibly clear and very light. Well, too, that's the Pilsner malt for you 1061. So we're bang on the recipe. Um, the pre boil is a wee bit off, I don't really know what was going on there, but that is spot on, which is good. So if it ferments down, then it's going to be six, probably 6.2, something like that, maybe more, maybe less. It's not going to be the full 6.9, which the Stone IPA is. Um, I was thinking about I mentioned the DME by throwing it in, and then I kind of thought. It's not really a clone anyway, so it would be wrong to try and um, be wrong to try and uh, try and to make it a clone because you know that galaxy is obviously is obviously gonna mess everything up. So it is what it is. It's a it's a it's a tribute. That's what it is. It's a tribute to Stone APA or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, so yeah, um, it actually. It was more like bloody Keystone IPA, maybe that's what I'll call it, Keystone IPA. It's just came to me now. It was, uh, you remember the two dead wasps? Well, there was actually th another one in the pot. And then I had it like uh, put the grain bag over the fermenter to try and collect a bit of wort so I could keep it and use it as a starter. And um, yeah, bloody wasp got into that too. And I've killed about four of them around just in the brew day in the last hour. It's just unbelievable. I don't know where they're all coming from or what the hell's going on, but yeah, they do seem to be attracted to that sugary water, so I wonder why. Hmm, strange. But anyway, yeast. This is our yeast here in the jam jar. Um, I'm going with it's a three to one ratio. I'm blending the two yeasts, so it's a it's around about a three to one usually. Maybe 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 slightly more for the American ale yeast. But we're using the 1272 American 2 yeast, Y yeast, and we're using the 36, I can't even remember the name, 36465 or something, I don't know, the Forbidden Fruit, fruit yeast, that one there. Um, I didn't want to put too much in, just I didn't, because I wasn't sure what kind of effect it's going to have on it. So I thought um, the, the American ale yeast is pretty neutral anyway, so um, just a little bit of the the Belgian might have an effect rather than putting shitloads in and then just ending up with God knows what. But um, yeah, so there's about three to one ratio, something like that. So I'm gonna pitch this now. Um, let's see, is there anything else? Um, I don't think so. It was all very reasonably stress-free, apart from the bloody um, the wasps, which were bloody nuisance. I, I, time was not that long ago. I'm starting to ramble here. Time was a long time ago. I would have, um, I would have not have killed any wasps. I would have just let them go, you know, like a hippie. And then when I, just uh, the day after the the brew tube gathering in London, I got stung by a bloody wasp um, on my hand. I could feel something round. I felt something round there, and I went to to brush it. And then of course the wee bastard stung me on the finger. So um, 
ever since then, it fucking hurt as well too. Uh, but ever since then, I've had no mercy for the, for the little flying bastards. So, kill them all, I say. Fucking kill them all. Noisy bastards. <laughs> <laughs>